Welcome to Witham Sounding Board, a podcast sharing powerful business tips, insights, and trends for those seeking to become a rock star in their industry. Good day, and welcome to Witham's Lodging Insights and Innovations podcast. My name is Lena Combs. I'm a partner here at Witham and the practice leader of the firm's hospitality services team. Today, I have with me Paul E. Rigo, who is the president of Swiped Unlimited, a payment processing company offering solutions to the hospitality industry and more. Today, we'll be talking about credit card processing and cash discount programs for the hospitality industry. Thank you, Paul, for joining us today and talking about this timely topic and providing your insights to the lodging industry. Thanks for having me, Lee. I appreciate it. Great. Well, let's get to it. So, Paul, can you explain to me what is a cash discount program and, you know, is it legal in every state? Sure. So uh, a cash discount program is technically we're offering a discount for customers that pay in cash, right? And this is what merchants want to do. The real goal of it is for all these businesses, hospitality, lodging, any industry really, to offset these very high credit card fees. So a cash discount is whatever their normal price is. If it's um, you know a hundred dollars for argument's sake, if they pay with cash, it really their price would be a hundred and two dollars. If they pay with cash, now it's a hundred dollars. So they, you're actually offering the customers a discount to pay with cash. And the best example of this is for decades now, we're all we've all been trained when we go to a gas station, right? It's the best example when people say, "Hey, what's a cash discount? What's the difference?" Cash discount is when you go to a gas station and you see literally on the sign, it says, you know, credit price and cash price. And um, what what happened is years ago, uh, before it was completely legal, the gas station said, hey, we're going to charge you more money if you're going to use your credit card because we don't want to pay the extra three, four percent to using uh, a huge amount of money in transactions. And what they did, though, is they found the loophole and they said, wait a minute, we're not charging more for a credit card. We're, that's our regular price. We just offer a discount for cash. So they were able to, I don't want to use the word get away with it, but that was kind of how they circumvented uh, at the time when it was uh, illegal to charge additional fees for a credit card. Now, over the years and decades later, more and more businesses are trying to offset those costs. So all industries and businesses have really gone towards a, a cash discount program. So it's a, you get a, a slight discount if you pay with cash or a check versus the business having to incur those high credit card fees. And is that legal in all 50 states now? It is legal uh, in all 50 states. So, you know, over the past several years, so back in 2010, the, uh, there, there was the Dodd-Frank Wall Street reform and part of the Consumer mm-hmm. Protection Act that basically said it is legal for all businesses to offer a cash discount. Now, there's a difference between cash discount and a surcharge. You know, on the surface, it seems like it's the same, but it, it, cash discounts are pretty much accepted everywhere. Um, however, surcharging is not legal in all states, and there's a lot of um, regulations that go along with it. What percentage you can charge as a maximum? Some states don't allow you to add a surcharge of any 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 uh, kind. So whatever your posted price is, that's what you have to charge the customer, no matter how they pay, by debit, credit, or cash. It doesn't matter. So that's... Uh, but yes, it, it, it technically, it, it absolutely is legal. Cash discount in all 50 states, but not surcharge. Just to follow up on that, is there sort of a usury threshold on the cash discount program? So is there some limit to what people could actually offer as a discount? I Great question. So in terms of a credit card rate, in terms of a cash discount, legally, you can only go up to 3.99% if it's in the nature of a cash discount program, right? And there's some other, and so, so that's the amount. And then there's some other things that really go along with the legality of it. And it has a lot to do with communication. You know, you can't surprise customers that there's a different price if they're paying with cash or paying with a credit card. So there's things that we do here at Swipe that help the customers or the merchants actually stay compliant, uh, which is w- one of the big things, you know, in, in choosing a credit card company. You know, you want to make sure you got a company that's, you know, looking out for the merchant's best interest, is fully aware of all the laws, regulations, and compliance issues. Um, so I know you kind of didn't ask the question, but, you know, we make sure that uh, the merchant has the proper signage up 
in their uh, in their place of business. We make sure that there's signs at the door. If it's a restaurant, uh, you know, on the menus or at least at the uh, point of sale where they're actually making the transaction to show that, hey, you know, we offer a cash discount of 3.99%. Sometimes businesses choose to do less of a discount, but 3.99 is actually the uh, maximum legal amount. Okay, great information. So uh, when or why, maybe both, should a business consider using a cash discount program and um, what types of businesses are best to implement something like that? Okay, good question. Um, the easy answer is all businesses are, are a good uh, uh, um, target or a good industry, you know, for, for a cash discount program. You know, everybody who's in business is in business to make money, you know. And with these credit card fees, you know, sometimes if, if there's all different ways that credit cards get charged, um, sometimes those fees for, for the merchant could be over 5%, you know, if it's an international American Express card or something. So when all is said and done, with an average of maybe 35 to 4% of fees, any business can use that additional 35 to 4% of revenue of profit in their business. You know, when we talk to our customers, large and small, it doesn't really make a difference. We explain to them that, you know, they say, hey, do you have any business partners? Yeah, I do. I got four. Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover, because they get 4% of the majority of my revenue having nothing to do with profit. So all businesses are, are, are good, but especially businesses that have high, a high amount of transactions and a low profit margin, you know, because this makes a difference in their profitability. And, you know, the small businesses in the hospitality they really thank us because we make such a difference on their on their bottom line and, and, and their profit. So the answer is all businesses, but you know some are you know needed more than others. Great. So do you see um, that businesses ever lose customers or receive a lot of complaints when they start to implement a cash discount program? Uh, the short answer is no, but the uh, longer answer is. All merchants or most merchants are usually afraid of that, right? That's their big fear to say, oh, I'm going to start, you know, and they see it as adding a fee to, you know, charging more money to, to charge a credit card. But the reality is that, you know, people have loyalty towards their customers. Some of them appreciate getting a discount if they pay with cash, you know, but um, ultimately, especially the smaller business with the smaller profit margins, you know, they really need to do whatever they can to um, subsidize and you know stay in business so a lot of the customers that are loyal you know if it's your restaurant or your hair salon or you know a, a place of business that you frequent they're really not going to uh you know complain so you know a few people may mention it this is the feedback we get from all of our merchants you know initially it's almost like ripping off a band-aid they may get two or three complaints but here's the reality of it you know we tell every customer that tries the cash discount if they don't like it for any reason uh, if they get too many complaints, literally, we can just dial in, you know, remotely and reprogram their terminals where within less than 30 minutes, they can go back onto a traditional program. So it's our policy that when somebody, you know, switches to us and goes with a cash discount program, we follow up in, you know, three or four days. Hey, how's it going, Lena? Is everything okay? Have you received complaints? Well, a couple of people mentioned it. Would you like us to switch back? And I go, no, absolutely not. You know how much money we're saving and it's getting, and it becomes business as usual. And depending on what area, um, you know, a lot of parts of the country now are flooded with cash discount programs. So, you know, Pizzerias were always afraid, hey, I, want to, I don't want to be the only pizzeria, but now every pizzeria is doing it. Every hair salon is doing it. Every tattoo parlor is doing it. Most of the um, larger companies are starting. The big retail enterprise are not yet, but I think ultimately we're about 18 months to two years away from every business really uh, passing, passing along that fee as an option. Sure. The first, the first prediction of the day. Yeah. <laughs> We've got yeah. a few. So are there differences in the size of company that payment processors can work with? And, and what are those delineating factors? So when you're talking about a difference of, and, and kind of like we mentioned earlier, right? So the smaller merchant with the less smaller profit margin really is good for, you know, um, certain size processors. But when you start getting into the large enterprise clients, so let's take hospitality for an example large chains like a Hilton or a Marriott, you know, credit card processing, like most businesses, is based on volume, credit worthiness, and um, reputation. 
you know. So a company like a, a Marriott or a Hilton or you know one of these you know big big chains is going to have a lot more creditworthiness, and their volumes are just astronomical. So there's only a certain amount of credit card processors or, or fixed credit card processors that can really service that industry at the volume and scale. You know. Um, Hospitality is one of those industries. Uh, supermarket chains is another one. You know, some of these big national supermarket companies, their volumes are so high and their margins are so low that, you know, 90% of credit card processors can't make those investments into those type of companies with, because there's an investment with that. There's equipment, there's point of service, uh, you know, computer systems that go with it. It's a, it's a big thing. So they really need to do their homework. Um, and there's ways to do that also, you know, um, we always recommend get some referrals from other people in your industry. We say, uh, attend your trade shows, you know, these expos and trade shows, you know, typically people that are in your business, okay. servicing your business, the old birds of a feather flock together, but, um, it has to do with credit worthiness. You know, there's, there's industries that have high reputable and low reputable. And, and this industry is all built around chargebacks. It's credit worthiness because the credit card processor we are funding, you know, we're laying out the money, lending these people money, we're paying the merchant and the customer is going to pay, you know, uh, 30 days later. So we're the ones at risk. So the lower the risk for the business or the industry, the better fees that they can get. And there's certain companies that cater towards certain industries. Right. So it sounds like um, it's a little bit binary that it would be hard for a hospitality company to do anything to position themselves because it's really about size of transactions, right? Credit worth, credit worthiness, especially in this industry. Is there anything um, that you could think of that would be helpful to some of our listeners if they were in the process of looking for a new processing company that could help position them to have more options or is it kind of fixed, like you say, by, by size and those other factors? Size has uh, a lot to do with it, you know, just because of volume, you know, discounts. But the mm -hmm. technology has a lot to do with it. And the company that you're dealing with has a lot to do with it, right? So there's legalities, especially if a company is going to implement a, a cash discount program. But there's things that the, uh, I'll say the common, you know, all industries and all companies are as good as the salespeople, right, that are representing them. You know, so even in the, especially in the hospitality, there are ways to always lower those fees. So you want to do business with a company and, and choose a company that, you know, uh, knows your industry, knows your business, because there's ways. So like a little trick, people can lower their credit card fees, whereas if they, if uh, credit cards are taken on the phone, that's the most expensive way to process a credit card. If it's a swipe, you know, the old magnetic swipers, which are now going away, that's it's, a, it's more secure because they actually have the physical card. If there's a chip reader now and they stick the chip in, that's even higher. So the more security you have, the lower your fees are. And it takes a good um, representative of the company to discuss those things with their clients. And just like real quick, you ever go like to a supermarket or something and you'll see they'll call or a gas station when you they ask you to type in the zip code, right? It's it's uh, or the area of the zip code. And it's annoying, right? You never want to give the, the zip code. However, they're doing that to eliminate fraud and chargebacks, and they pay a lower fee every time they type in that code. It's just validating the credit worthiness. And a good credit card company will educate their customers on all these options to lower their fees when it comes to traditional. On a cash discount, it's a little different. But that's those are the type of things that um, enterprise clients, hospitality customers should be looking for is a credit card processor who specializes in their area, works well with their clients, um, and has other clients of similar size. That's, I did not know that. It's sort of like dual factor authentication for consumers, right? That's exactly uh, what it is. It's, it's exactly what right. it is. Oh, I always wondered about that. And I learned something new today. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So does your business, Swiped Unlimited, do you guys service customers anywhere in the country and all types and sizes? Uh, we do. We service. Uh, we service in all fifty states. We have everything from, you know, hotels down to, uh, uh, you know, medical offices, dentists, plastic surgeons. Um, but I will say that we do not have large, super large enterprise clients like a Marriott or a Hilton. But we do have a good amount of um, independent owners and operators. You know, in the hospitality industry, hotels, motels. Sure. Um, 
you know, uh, a long, you know, short stays, you know, things like that. So we are in the business. So we cover a full spectrum. We're a full payment technology company and, you know, not to give a shameless plug, but, uh, you know, we, we really a payment technology company. So we can service everything from online gateways, online processing, in-store terminals, POS systems, mobile solutions, drive throughs so all these other things that um, people really appreciate now. You know, these smaller merchants, they're on old technology and technology is changing so quickly and the payment technology business is one of them. So when we see these places that are on these old technologies, they're paying more money than they need to. So we try to help upgrade them. Great, great. Well, I think that's important information is people might need to make a change to think about all those different factors and choosing a payment solutions provider. Exactly. Right. Well so um, is there anything else that you could recommend for our listeners today to consider when they're shopping for a cash discount program or credit card processing services and how um, you know, kind of briefly, but how they might best find those companies that suit their needs. Is there a resource? Is there other, I mean, we talked about trade shows and birds of a feather, notwithstanding, but is there anything else that you uh, think is, is salient to our group today? Um, I'm a big fan of, you know, in all industries, not just credit card processing, that, you know, referrals are key. You know, you want to do your homework, and the good thing is in the internet does a really good job, you know, with reviews and, you know, just seeing, you know, what's the reputation of the company, search the Better Business Bureau. But asking for referrals is, is key. And going back to my point of, you know, who's going to be representing the company? You know, who's the good sales rep? Who's the good account manager? So those are the type of referrals you want to ask for. Uh, researching online is, uh, is a huge opportunity. Um, attending the industry events, you know, like we had mentioned. And even your own industry associations, you know, there's a lot of, um, I'll call it chat groups, but just resources. Most industries have, you know, some type of an association that they can reach out to. They have preferred vendors. Um, they have, you know, that they vetted out for the most part. I know that doesn't always work out. And sometimes, you know, your smaller local uh, merchant, you know, provider may do a much better job. But those are the ways that um, less risky, if you will, you know, um, in, in terms of selecting credit card process, but reputation is everything. And you just want to do, you, you want to deal with good people, good companies, good products. It's pretty much. Great, doing. great tips. Great tips. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for being with us today. I really appreciate your time. If you have any questions about today's podcast, please reach out to us through withem.com slash hospitality.